for this week's tech tip on torque performance television. I'm Mark with Texas Performance Motorcycles. And this week we're gonna go over how we like to adjust throttle cables and why it's so important. Um, the basic tools you're gonna need to go ahead and do this adjustment, and we include lubricating as part of the adjustment, is you're gonna need uh, typically a T25 or some way to remove the upper from the lower uh, switch housing if you have throttle cables. You're gonna need, on a stock application, two 3 8 wrenches. If you have aftermarket cables, they might be 5 16 they might be whatever, but typically they're gonna be the same size. You're gonna need two of those, and then you're gonna need two types of lube. We like to run this Inox lube for actually lubricating the cable and the uh, throttle sleeve, and then we also like to, to use some petroleum jelly, and we'll show you where we like to use that in a second. So you're gonna start by removing the upper and lower switch housing screws. So after we've removed those switch housing screws, what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull these rubber boots back if your cables have them. Some aftermarket cables don't have them. Um, this one actually does. So we're gonna pull these cables back, these boots back, and we're gonna go ahead and collapse these cables completely. All right, so now with the cables completely collapsed, we're gonna go ahead and lubricate the cables, the ferrules, and the actual throttle sleeve. So to lubricate the throttle sleeve, with the cable's loose, you should be able to slide it out a little bit. And then what you're gonna do, this bike's not on a lift currently, so we can kind of turn these handlebars so that the lube will run down the bar. And then we're gonna lube just kind of where the throttle slides around on. Uh, we're just gonna put a couple drops in there, work it back and forth with the throttle, try and get it in everywhere. Then we're also gonna take this and we're gonna lubricate these ferrules right here. So right where the cable threads in, or slides in, I should say on both, the idle and the throttle cable. And then we're gonna take this, this bottle and the reason it has this little needle, is we're gonna shove it down in between the throttle sleeve and the cable, way down inside there. And then we're just gonna give it a squeeze. I typically do anywhere from eight to 12 little quick squeezes just to get some lube down in the cable. All right, once we've lubricated everything, we're gonna go ahead and put the upper and lower switch housings back together. The two things you wanna make sure you're paying attention to, make sure you don't have your cable in a weird position where it's gonna get pinched somewhere when you put them in. And you also wanna make sure that your brake switch is not gonna get broken when you tighten it down. It's really, really common that that brake switch kinda of gets stuck behind this lever somewhere and when you tighten everything down, it snaps that brake, brake switch. So we're gonna go ahead and put these together and then we'll show you the adjustment process. All right, and then so before we adjust this cable, what we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the throttle stop is backed out all the way. Uh, if this thing's run in at all, it can affect your adjustment and give you some false readings in there. So with this thing backed out all the way, the first thing we're gonna adjust is the throttle cable. It's the pull cable and the push-pull system. It's typically your front cable. And the way we're gonna adjust that is we're gonna twist the throttle wide open, and then we're basically gonna rotate this guy back, kind of giving it a quick bounce until we start hearing the actual throttle blade hit the throttle stop on the, uh, the physical either carburetor or throttle line. So as you can see right now, the throttle blade's not opening all the way. And so what we're doing is we're just giving it a quick little tap until we hear it start making contact on the actual stop. So like right there, you can hear a light soft contact. And then what I typically do is I'll go one more half rotation past that. So it's just three flats on a typical cable. So I'll go one, two, three flats, just to make sure that we are for sure hitting the throttle stop and you are getting 100% throttle. Typically, on a cable that's not adjusted correctly, that's the number one thing is that you're actually not hitting 100% throttle. You're stopping anywhere from 90 to you know 80% throttle depending on the cable it is. And so then once that's adjusted, we're going to adjust the idle cable. The idle cable is kind of what controls your free play. So right now we have a pretty good amount of free play. What you want to do with this cable is keep adjusting it until you have about an eighth inch of free play. And where I like to judge is at the seam. So at the seam, from the upper to the lower, should have about an eighth of an inch, which if you don't know what an eighth of an inch looks like, grab an Allen key, an eighth inch Allen key, you'll be able to tell real easy. And then if your bike has the front wheel to where you can turn it, just check both sides, both locks. So you want it to have a little bit of play on both locks. So right now in this lock, we have almost no play. So I'm gonna turn it in just a little bit more. So have a little bit. Typically your right lock is gonna be the tighter side and your left lock is gonna be the looser side. So we have a lot of free play here on this left side. We turn it back to the right side. We have much less. And so we just want a tiny bit of free play on this right side. 
And then on the left side, we should have a ton more. And then that's it. We're gonna lock down these jam nuts real quick. And then we'll show you where we use that petroleum gel. All right, and then so the last step is we like to take a little bit of petroleum jelly and we like to apply it right to the adjuster. And what this helps do is it helps the boot go on a little easier. It also helps prevent these adjusters from getting rusted um, due to like rain or washing the bike or whatever. Um, just gives them a little bit of protection. It's a little, little messy, but you put a little bit on there and then we're gonna go ahead and slide these boots up. And then we're gonna wipe off any of the excess. All right guys, that's how we like to adjust cables here at Texas Performance Motorcycles. Um, there's no right or wrong way, it's just how we do the adjustment. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Tips on Torque Performance Television. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Texas Performance MC. Check out our website, we have a new web store coming soon, texasperformancemc.com. And don't forget to follow Torque Performance Television at Torque Mag USA on Instagram. And we'll catch you next week, Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Torque Performance Television.